Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Here, let me fix my mic. Hang on. Much, much better. Welcome back to another video. Eh, hang on. Well, that's the best I can do. Welcome back to another video, and we are going to be doing an unboxing today of Indie Box. Now, what this is essentially is loot crate, but each month they send you indie games. Um, I actually got this month's indie box. Plus, over the weekend I bought um another indie box. Uh, it was Nuclear Throne, and I don't know which one this is. So, uh, it's either Nuclear Throne or this month's box. So, uh, let's take a gander. It is Nuclear Throne. Look at that. Sitting right in the box. Okay, let's open this puppy up. Um, cheat your shelf right here. Here, let me just kind of... So you can see kind of what I'm doing. What, now, what is this? Bring back the box. That's kind of their motto right there. Bring back the box. Nothing all that interesting on here. Now, if I got this when it actually came out, I've gotten something like... Sometimes they do these monthly challenge things. Did you guys see that? If you did, I'll blur it out. But there's my Steam key. Don't want you guys seeing that. I know this game comes with a flash drive and all that you can put your game on. I don't know what it looks like for this month. But I would prefer to use the uh, the Steam key. So here's the nuclear throne box with a little sleevey thing. So we can pop this sucker right out. And this would be nice to put on the shelf, really. Wow, that's awesome. Nuclear Throne is a post-apocalyptic roguelike top-down shooter. Not the final hope of humanity post-apocalyptic, but humanity is extinct and mutants and monsters now roam the world post-apocalyptic. Fight your way through the wastelands with powerful weaponry, collecting radiation to mutate some new limbs and abilities. All these things and more you could do if only you were good at this game. Can you reach the nuclear throne? That is an awesome description of the game there, if you can see it. Let's open this sucker up. I've got some scissors. I really hope I don't damage the box in any way trying to opening it. Uh, cause this is a really cool box. It's a mimic. Well, it looks like one. So I'm hoping there's a mimic enemy in this game. Well, I've never played this game, but I hear it's really good. So let's open this puppy up. Oh my god, this is beautiful. My first indie box. Um, I've seen some un unboxings of a few. Oh, I hate. Gotta put your fingers deep in there and ruin the box up. Hang on. See if I can. I oh, man, I had to get a crease in it. Okay, so we're gonna open up, uh, take out one thing at a time here. I don't want you guys to spoil it. And let's see, first thing we got here is... A Indie Box Newsletter, Issue 14. Now this box came back, came out back in January. Um, some pretty cool stuff in here. I'll be reading this on my own time. Next thing we got is is get your free code get your free code for nuclear throne PSN okay I don't have a is this just a normal PlayStation okay so if you guys have a PS4 or a PS Vita you can redeem this code right here I don't have a PS4 so it's not that important to me if you guys have a PS4 and want to get nuclear throne uh, there you go First person to watch this video gets the code. What is up next? An awesome looking indie box sticker. That is awesome. With Bill Cipher. Is that Bill Cipher? Ah, who knows. Okay, uh, the next item is. Oh, I saw a little sneak peek. Nuclear Throne official sound check. And there's a little thing I need to cut here. Ah, I'm gonna keep these scissors close by. Uh, Nuclear Throne sound check. Awesome. I hear the sound. Oh my god, this is. This is on a CD. 
That is awesome. Look at that, guys. So this is like... There's 35 songs and all. Right there, if you can see. Oh, man, that is cool. Now, I... I wonder if the flash drive contains the soundtrack for the game, actually. I'm gonna put that over there. And our next thing is a nuclear throne sticker. Just a sticker. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's pretty cool, I guess. Put that there. But this looks like a maggot. This is some... What is this? This is... Oh my god, that feels so soft. Ooh. It's like a little coin purse. Nothing in it. Like a little coin purse. Ooh, I'm a little maggot. Oh, I'm gonna eat your brains. Uh, he's adorable. What's next in the box? Ooh, I see that. Nuclear Throne Instruction Manual. Whoa, that is sick. It's characters, mutations, pickups, enemies. How to play the game. 101. What is this? It caught my attention. Whoa. These are like little figurine dudes. Dude, I'm excited for these guys. Whoa. These are sick. Um, it look awesome. Oh god, what plastic guy I ripped into? Oh, it's opened. So, the first guy we have here kind of looks like a kind of like desert bandit dude. Like, there's some like dust on it. This is really well made. This is definitely going over on my desk here. I'll put these guys right over here so you can see them. Uh, you can't really see them. Let me move the box so you can see them. The next guy is like a dog. That's sick. Three headed dog. And the last guy is like. He has a radiation tank on him. I don't know. That's pretty sick. And. Ooh! Here's the game. Oh my god, this is cool. What is this? Like an enemy or something? Playable character? What is this? This is sick. Yeah, I think this might be a character. So it's a chicken. Head pops off and boom, stick it right in your computer. That's pretty sick. Put this over here. And last thing we got in here is a sticker which says Nuclear Throne and No Pig Police. Okay. That's pretty funny. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So let's just kind of go over the contents here. Yeah, this is really weird. So we got those stickers, this little maggot dude, the, these cool guys. They're probably like characters or bosses or something. Oh, uh, we got you, I got you guys a PSN code right here. Um, put that in PS4 or whatever. Uh, to get yourself a free code, we got a manual, mm, a sticker, a soundtrack, an indie box newsletter. Uh, I I don't know what this is. Advertisement and an indie box sticker. Oh, I almost forgot about the flash drive, the most important piece. Now in that little box, we got all of this stuff. That is really cool. I think these three guys are like the coolest part. But this is really awesome, guys. Definitely go check out Indie Box. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the game. Um, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll open it up, then I'll show you guys a little, like, a uh, couple minutes of the game. So I'm going to hop into some nuclear throne right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Nuclear Throne. Um, I just did the unboxing. Here's the game. The settings, you have your classic audio. Um, in video, you have full screen, which I'm using. You can change your crosshair, which is pretty cool. But I like the classic one, to be honest. Oh, that one's... That one's pretty epic. But I like the classic one. You change the side out, which is these little panel things. 
But I like seven because YV just looks awesome. Screen shake, uh, freeze frames, hide HUD, and gameplay style. Then this, uh, you have all that stuff, and you got all that stuff. Let's get into the game, and I'm gonna show you guys the first couple minutes of Nuclear Throne. Let's go. Guess I gotta play the tutorial. Um, so can I, um, they only start with one gun? What is all this? A skin, none. Okay, so I guess I'll just play with fish. So this is the tutorial, I guess. Uh, or the okay. Pick up a new weapon with the E. Gotcha. Is this the new weapon? Yep, that's shotgun. Aim the love now. Yep. Fire. Pretty funnel getty. Swap weapons with space. Right mouse button, uh, uses your ability, give it a go. Oh, he can, like, roll? That's pretty cool. Cool, we're done here. That, that's it? That's- is that all the tutorial? <coughs> okay, so that was the tutorial. Normal, daily, weekly? Uh, let's do normal, I guess. And let's play as Fish, because we just played him. Fear is the mind killer. I guess this is the level. Is that dangerous? No, it doesn't- can I, like, hold this down to shoot? Nope. Oh, God. Oh, no. I have you as a coin holder. Coin purse, whatever you want to call it. Oh, my God. So, I hear this game is pretty hard. It's fun already, though. Die! Shotgun? Shot- Oh, assault rifle. I can deal with that. Oh, uh, what's this? Max bolts. What is that thing? I'm, I don't know, but I'm gonna go get it. There's another bandit dude. Oh, wait! So is this dude... Maybe this dude's like a boss. Okay, then. Oh, that was not... But I, I got the manual for like five seconds. And I saw that these guys were like pretty big, so... Okay, mutation, uh, mutate later. No damage from explosions and fire when under 4 HP. Less enemy HP. Corpses fly and hit harder? I don't know what that's gonna do, but that sounds epic. See them fly. Hang on, can I, like, turn the volume down? <laughs> this game is so loud. One seems sufficient. Okay, uh, continue. Oh god, what are you? Oh no, I want my assault. Can are they, like, grenades? Can I shoot these things? I can, but nothing happens. Okay, shoot these guys. Shoot these guys. Let's go. Just gonna go in. Hit, fire, shooting guns. So I can shoot... Wait. What if I just kept shooting this? Uh, nothing happens. Ah, die. Oh, God. Low HP, low HP. Ah. Well, this pistol seems to be doing the job. Whoa, I just got a grenade launcher. Got rid of my pistol, though. That's okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I don't want to get hit even once, so I'm gonna die. Okay, ammo. Could he not? Oh, here's the little... The little portal thing. I guess these are my mutations. Um, Full HP and some ammo. Energy weapons deal more damage. 4 max, and higher rate of fire as HP gets low. I think that'll do good. I guess I gain some HP when I go into a new level. But let's use this thing. This thing is freaking. Oh. If it doesn't hit anything, I guess it blows up after a specified amount of time. SMG. Big Bandit. I was right. He's a boss. It's a scary one. I want that grenade launcher, though. Ah! Oh, dear. Die. Okay, that was... That wasn't super intense. This game is fun, though. I can see how people could still be playing it, even though it came out in 2014. It's really fun. 
And the indie box just made this box uh, in January, so. Not like they made it right away. But they do have standards, which aren't very high. Not like Papyrus, anyway. Haha, -ha, Undertale jokes. Um, Okay, let's go through the portal again. This game is pretty fun. Eyes unlocked. Um, so I guess when I die, I'll stop recording. Ooh, okay. That was a good idea. Oh, giant rat. Okay. <laughs> Pop gun. Okay, this is fun. Die. No, just from looking at this game, it doesn't, it didn't look very fun, but I was like, eh, what the heck, I hear it's pretty good, so I got it, and I just started, it's really fun. I should be getting a maze indie box, you know, the monthly one, that I don't know what game it is. I should be getting that next, uh, tomorrow, actually, on Sunday, if this game is uploaded on Friday, which... It probably is. Oh god! Oh god! What is this thing? What is this gun? I'll keep the path gun. The, the path gun. Keep the path gun. Looks like there's a gift for me. Plus 30 shells. Okay, next level. I didn't search down there. Uh, down there though. Level up. Higher the fire station gets lower. Slower enemy bullets. More melee. Push through a limited number of walls. That slower enemy bullet sounds pretty epic. So he's in top gun. Let's go evolving. Oh, Jesus! What was that thing? Ah, okay, so that thing can fly. Some health. Oh, he blew up. No! Okay. Um, let's go. This is intense. It's not too intense right now, but I've seen gameplay. It gets pretty... pretty oh, the explosions. Hello, bandit. Blew up that car. Let's go. This is pretty... Oh, my God. He's right there. Okay. Okay, don't land on me. I don't... I bet that would do damage if you landed on me. Why do you have a gun? Your bird. Uh, someone find me bullets. Okay, I got some bullets for my pap gun that you can buy in any store because pop gun. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna call it cap. Uh, no, I wanted to get some stuff. Ah, oh, dang it. Plasma gun, I'll take that. That's fun. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my god! Triple machine gun. Oh, this is epic. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Super random increase in difficulty right there, game. Okay, okay. Low bullets? Low bullets? When I'm gonna have bullets with this one. Wait, wait, so I can't use any of my guns now because they use the same bullet type? What? There. What? Okay, everyone, uh, sorry about that. Uh, what was I? Okay, yeah, wait. Low energy, low bullets. So unless I kill something and it drops some bullets. Eh, okay. That's it. Bullets! Oh no, I'm... There we go. What if I can't, no. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Eh! Yay. Oh, explosives, that's helpful. How do I throw them, though? Controls. Is it controls? Um, um, okay, that doesn't help. Whatever. Can I? Oh, wait, no, that's not a good idea. Either that. Ah! So I only have one gun, pretty much. This is not good. Yay! 
Well, I think that's enough for you guys to know if you really want to buy this game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you dudes in the next video. Cringy outro.